Alrighty, tonight I'm going to play for you some harmonics. And I'm going to play just kind of randomly around the board, fretboard. I'm going to start off of the third fret on the low E string. Um, I am using a pretty decent amplifier. It's the uh, EVH Lunchbox 2 with concentric uh, volume and gain knobs. Um, I do have the gain up to about 11, uh, sorry, yeah, it's 11 o'clock on the gain. The volume is very low, very low, it's about, I don't know, so up to like a volume one on there. Um, and this is about as loud as it gets. So I need to retune that, but I'm just here to show you how to do the pinched harmonics. So these are pinched harmonics, meaning I'm hitting the string with my pick, my thumb. And so when I hit it, I'm hitting it at an angle to where the, the pick and the thumb hit almost simultaneously. And you know, in a blink of an eye, it's the thumb after the pick. So pick first, and then it's the thumb. So it's almost simultaneously. So the first note, the first sound you heard was me playing a natural harmonic where I'm feather touching the third fret. So I'm not using my thumb here. So again, the way you grab your, your pick, this is of course the opposite way, but barely have any tip of the pick there, and it's a lot of thumb. So you're really choking up on the pick. So I just played that third fret on the low E string, it's a G. That's what the G sounds like without the um, picked harmonic. But you can just pick anything random. So really, the range of um, artificial picking is from from this distance to anywhere up the neck. But these are kind of the sweet spots to do the artificial uh, harmonics or the pinched harmonics. It's the same thing, okay? So. I did that there off the third fret. Now I'm going to go to the fifth fret. That's your A on the low E string. Now I'm going to go to the seventh fret. It's your B. And there's a lot of artists who play like that. Um, especially uh, Eddie Van Halen plays a lot like that. Um, you can do that with all your strings. That's your low a E, of course. Here's your low A playing um, right here on C. Here's your D. Here's your E. Also notice here what pickup switch I'm on. The, the position I'm on the first position. So I'm getting these two which is the humbucker. This is actually switchable if you look right here. So I can make it a humbucker, I can make it single coil. You're gonna get a better response off of uh, uh, a humbucker. So this is what you get. This is the sound that you're getting with the humbucker engaged. If I do it with just the single coil, then this is the sound you get. I can hear it. I hear more of the string. It's a little more percussive. Uh, it's not as um, clear, I suppose, if you want to say that. Again, humbucker. Single coil, and it's the same position here. So I'm going to kick it back. I'm going to go to this position. This pickup, so the selector in fifth position gets me this pickup. Okay. If I have it engaged back, I have the humbucker. So both of them are engaged. And this is what you get when you're trying to do the same thing in that first position with the pinched harmonics. This is what you get. You have to be a little more accurate with it. Um, it's not as clear. It doesn't sustain as much. 
Okay, here's what it sounds like in the single coil phase. You know, very, very percussive. You almost don't hear it. So I'm going to move over to the third position just so you hear what it sounds like. It's a little better than that one, than, than the fifth position. Here's second position. Eh, I think I liked third better. Here's fourth position. So as you can tell, it's a lot clearer first position. Still kind of clear here in the second position, but I think it's just a little fatter in the third position. Then you start to lose it in the fourth and the fifth positions. Whether you're in humbucking mode or in single mode, okay? You're gonna lose it. So this doesn't affect anything other than the humbuckers. It's just a coil splitter, basically. That's all it is, okay? I'm using the Guthrie Govin signature model by Charvel. You can see that in the back. Signature. Um, so those are your harmonics. Those are your pinched harmonics. Okay. There'll be another video for just the plain harmonics. Um, I know a lot of kids want to hear what, what, how to do the harmonics where you have these squeals. Well, that's a good start. You go off of the third fret and just go for it. Don't forget to choke up on the pick. Okay, now once you get that nailed down pretty good on the E string, on the A string, then on the D string, once you have that down and you're pretty comfortable, go ahead and move to your fifth fret of the G string and your, and your seventh fret of the G string and start doing the same kinds of thing. So that's the seventh fret. I'm hitting, on this guitar I'm hitting here, just forward, right in front of the middle humbucker. I'm sorry, middle pickup. And I'm getting a lot of harmonics, three different ones. So here, 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 here. It's good if you can sing them back also, because then you'll know uh, what you're going to get in those positions that you're going to play. Okay? So I'll play the same thing here on the 5th fret, on G string. Notice I have to move my pick position a little forward that way, towards the neck, or the fretboard. When I moved to the 5th fret, I moved forward towards the fretboard. So now I'm going to go to the 7th fret, I'm going to have to move a little further back, just above here. And so the point of those is sometimes you want to do a little like a squeal or a scream or whatever you want to call that in rock and roll. And that's all you do. That's, if you can learn how to hold it and know how long it's going to last, then you can time your squeals a little bit better too. So practice doing this instead first. See how long you can sustain that squeal. Find out if a different position gets you a longer sustain. And then when you learn how to bend the note, you do the same thing. Pinch the harmonic as you bend. And that's how you get that squealy kind of sound. So you get everything from this kind of droney, low note harmonic thing to the squeals. I personally just like doing a second fret. I like doing that a lot. And you get that kind of the horsey nay thing, which is again, it's a Van Halen signature thing. But it's a lot of fun to do those kinds of things when you're playing music. It changes things up, spices up the music, especially in rock and roll. All right? You all have a good night. Hopefully you have fun with our artificial harmonics or pinched harmonics. Good night.